try and piggyback a certain traffic on a site. So they may glue themselves onto a site, uh, hoping to drag with them uh, some of the subscribers or something of the site. So they will either try and provoke a person. Uh, when they provoke the person and the person doesn't respond anymore, then they say, oh, he doesn't have an argument against that. That's just not true. That's just the person recognizes a troll and just says, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste time on it because that's what he wants. That's what a troll wants. Uh, the other thing is, uh, some people tend to befriend and then attack and then befriend and attack a certain entity just to just create a bit of drama. Uh, and I think that some people uh, embrace a certain agenda, maybe like even Fox and Linux, to try and promote a different agenda or, or to try and promote different worldviews and theories and stuff. Uh, and that's, in some sense, that might be okay, like I'm not adverse to different opinions or different topics, but when sometimes it becomes just a case of trying to... Uh, uh, subvert channel to change the topics to disrupt channels and to try to hijack them to promote some kind of uh, theories that I pretty politely don't agree with or don't have enough evidence to support them. That just becomes a bit of an embarrassment uh, and sometimes it becomes very destructive and people get very upset and they say well the channel shouldn't be about that, it's really off topic and then the people get even more disruptive and maybe they even get banned. Uh, I don't generally almost never ban any, anyone on the channel unless it's like spam or something very abusive or threats or something. Um, and I think we uh, we had people who were pretending to be a friends and then pretend to be enemies and say, oh, I'm your friend, let's go on the show and let's have a chat. And then they try to stab you in the back again. And at some stages I say enough, you know, I'm not, I'm not falling into this again. Uh, and I'm not willing to uh, accommodate a person whose main goal is to just kind of disrupt and basically be a waste of time. So I think we've had a... Uh, uh, our encounters with such people over the years, I mean, the past few years, uh, I knew other people who were pretending to be very charming people and, you know, want to be your friends, but actually they were just trying to harm you and uh, trying to get close enough so that they can stab you. Uh, so, so, yeah, so we have these, these experiences behind us. Uh, we try to concentrate on the issues, and I, I just generally don't mention their names. I, don't, I encourage people to speak about them, just ignore them, because that's just what they would want, want the least is to be ignored. That's the worst that can happen to them. Well, I think on that note, um, hopefully we've uh, covered everything we meant to cover in our list. We had posted some very brief notes into the IRC Tech Rights channel before we started, but I think we also had an opportunity to diversify a little on those as well. Um, as it is the end, the last show of the first series, Again, I feel myself uh, repeat, repeating what I always say at the end of every episode, but it's probably more sincerely meant now uh, than net more than ever because of it's been the end of the first year. Um, thank you so much for listening. Uh, this last year has flown by. Uh, my own site has been running for about three years, and uh, TechBytes has been running for a year. And in all that time, I've never regretted my investment of time at all. It's been a, a massive pleasure to do it, and it's been great fun as well. And the amount of things you learn about uh, audio casting and talking to talking to an audience and talking to a third party who's not actually there in the room with you, it's uh, it's incredible. So thank you so much for all your feedback and thank you for listening. Um, thank you for reading and thank you for criticising as well. I do look forward to uh, seeing the people's criticism of us in in the various forums. It's often quite rewarding if we can provoke an emotional response out of somebody, even if it's a bad one. So, uh, thank you for all of that. Um, Roy, I'll give you the last word since you lead uh, most of these shows with your excellent uh, research into topics, and uh, I'll let you finish, and then we'll close on uh, Tom Smith's track, which is used with the mission of Tom Smith, um, which is I Thought the Troll. So, Roy, yeah, well, last yeah, word. We, we, uh, huh, few words. I actually have questions to you, because we, we, we usually dive straight into the show. Uh, so what do we what do we generally do next season? What's the uh, plan in terms of layouts and stuff? Do we change anything or? I mean, well, any of the listeners know if, if they can send us feedback as well, suggestions and stuff. So, I mean, I listen to a lot of talk radio and I pick up a, a few little things I like out of the, the talk radio stations I listen to. I quite like the idea of a more um, more organised show, um, but then we've been doing that recently over the last stuff about eight episodes we've had a list before we've gone into the show just on what we're going to cover so at least we've got a rough idea of what's going to be said um, I'd like to add a bit a bit of uh, a bit more production into the into the show there's a very good radio station called LBC uh, London's Biggest Conversation which sometimes jazz up some of the the more uh, 
mundane topics with a few sound effects just to add a little humour in, in the right place and I quite like that idea. I like the idea of local recording as well. I believe the Linux Outlaws do that. I think it makes for a better overall quality at the end. And um, really just small, small people coming on and uh, really what we've been doing already as well. And th those are my sort of general ideas. I don't know if you've got any, any you wanted to add extra to that at all. Uh, one of the things I wondered about, I you know it sounds a bit off topic, it, w people recognize the show by the theme song and by certain things that we do the intro. Should we change that or should we keep it the same across seasons? Do you, or what's your opinion on that? I don't know. I mean, I, I've always loved that track. Um, Tom, Tom Smith has done an excellent job of, uh, of making a parody of I Fought the, Fought the Law and uh, changing it into I Fought the Troll. And I thought it was very relevant with some of the topics that we discussed and how they do attack, uh, attract the internet trolls. So I always thought it was a very relevant uh, theme tune. Um, I'm very much open to whatever sort of suggestion anybody else has. I know that Marty wrote a very good track for Tech Bytes, uh, and I think there was a little bit of cross-communication, because when Marty said he was going to assist and do a track, I think the intent was, or certainly my understanding of it was, it was going to be a filler track which was going to go between sections on the show in order to split them up without having to put a, a full music track on there. So, of course, when Marty did the, the main theme tune to the beginning, excellent as it was, it would uh, it was... It wasn't able to be put in because we were using Tom Smith's track. Um, so I'm hoping we can get back in touch with Marty and maybe work together with him to uh, to do a few little bits and pieces for the show. I know he's recently released another track of his own, um, which uses samples from 2001, The Space Odyssey. It had Hal in its name, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was, but it's absolutely fantastic. And it puts me in mind of the old uh, Amiga demo scene music, 16-bit uh, chip music type uh, demo scene is absolutely fantastic so I'm hoping we can get to, in touch with Marty and maybe work with something with him and get him involved uh, in doing something for the show so that's maybe a hope but in Marty, terms of yeah, he's, I should just mention he's one of the very nice supporters of the show I've seen him when uh, people were trying to uh, nitpick the show or to take things out of context he would be one of the first few people to jump into the forums and try to say uh, the truth about what we actually mm. meant to say so he's been he's been a very uh, loyal and and he's he's a, he's a lovely fellow as well. Um, I've I've had quite a few discussions with him. I don't talk to him half as much as I'd like to. I think uh, different time zones and his uh, different working habits mean that we're on online slightly separate times. But uh, yes, he's a, he's a lovely chap. I will try to dig out a few links for the show notes because I think it's uh, only fair that people have a look at uh, some of Marty's excellent work that he's been doing. And he's very active in the. Uh, free and open source uh, scene and uh, he, he writes a lot of music as well using completely free software and uh, yes he's a, a very nice very talented guy and uh, hopefully we can work with him so really now I think we can close off the show and people that listen to this are probably going to think it's very disjointed at the end and this is probably like more suitable for an outtakes type uh, part of the show so if you want to consider it that please do but I think uh, I think we'll close it off now um, it's 21.52 according to my clock and we've done over an hour um, please, one other request consider joining Diaspora and coming over because there's a lot of stuff that Roy's saying uh, on there and a lot of discussions going on in relation to free software and to Linux uh, patents which is really interesting stuff and it's something that you can't get from Identicum because there's just not enough space in the posts to uh, facilitate that please do think of joining especially if you were trying to decide whether you want to join Google Plus or not, and maybe you're not part of any type of Facebook social networking site, please consider Diaspora first. Fantastic service, uh, fantastic uh, environment, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I really can't, uh, I, I can't praise it enough. So uh, hopefully you'll be joining us on that very shortly. Roy's on there, I'm on there, and most of the crew from the Tech Rights uh, channel that are quite vocal on their uh, on their blogs etc will be on there as well so hopefully you can join us um, and Roy as I said before and now this definitely is the last word it's uh, over to you for the final words well if I had any words <laughs> I'd <don't laughs> yeah, have no fun it's just, just be nice very nice in the first season uh, I think we uh, started doing very fast but we had very short episodes the first few times and we didn't have as many topics to cover so we didn't even uh, I think this has been a really really long break since the last episode uh, just completely for reasons to do with work, not enough, not sufficient time to record. 
Uh, and we, we tend to make them a bit longer now. I think we'll carry on with the same layout uh, in the next season, because uh, everything seems to work okay. I think we uh, gravitate towards...